I'm Carwin Watkins and uh, I'm a junior doctor. I've just completed my foundation training at um, the Royal Devon and Exeter Hospital and I'm working um, at the University of Exeter Medical School. So a junior doctor is uh, all doctors between the point of qualification when they finish as a medical student and uh, until they become a consultant which can be a variable length of time but is, is, is generally between five and ten years. It's kind of a period of training on the job so um, you're, you're paid but you're working towards um, being fully qualified as a, as a consultant in your chosen speciality. The most kind of, uh, so when everyone finishes as a medical student they firstly do two years of what's called foundation training um, and it is probably more helpful to talk about what we do in those years of foundation training um, which is mostly um, being on the wards in a hospital providing the link between patients and other healthcare professionals on the ward with the more senior experienced doctors. So, um, so we as junior doctors would um, often be the, the face on the wards that patients and their relatives and the other healthcare staff see and um, talk to patients, check how they're doing, make sure they haven't got any problems we make sure everything's working well for the patient and organising things that need to happen in order to kind of progress the, the care for that patient and, and help them to uh, get better and to help them get out of hospital. So things like um, organising scans, discussing with other specialities, updating the patient and the family on how things are going, asking any um, answering any queries that patients or the nursing staff have over any problems that might be going on. So it's a real mix of things in, a, in, a, in the day-to-day -day, um, job and it's not just the um, uh, kind of very clinical procedure type stuff that you might see on the TV. Um, we do do uh, some of that but it's mostly when we work out of hours or on call as it as it's sometimes called where you uh, you carry um, a pager and you respond to um, to queries from all around the hospital uh, and review um, patients who have um, questions or who are who have become unwell and we um, try and troubleshoot those problems and um, work out what's going on and discuss it or ask for senior doctors to come and see the patient if necessary. No, it's not true at all. So, um, um, as a junior doctor, you certainly don't know any, everything and you certainly are not expected to know everything. Um, one of the great things about being a medical student is the opportunity to um, learn a broad range of things but it's a kind of um, uh, enables you to have an understanding of how the body works rather than the the exact details on every topic and um, so what your training gives you is um, the means of understanding an issue and trying to work out any problems that might arise from it but more than that it's the kind of ability to um, to ask the right questions to get in touch with the right people whether that be the senior doctors in your own team or doctors in another team um, and to um, um, to communicate with them and to work out what's going on as part of a bigger team rather than having to handle or know everything yourself. So junior doctors are training in a huge variety of um, specialities and medicine is a hugely varied profession um, in different specialities from medicine to surgery to public health 
Um, but it's not just the different specialities that um, allows kind of variation in the types of careers that you can have as a doctor. There, um, um, uh, there are also things like research or academia. So um, I'm a, um, an academic junior doctor. I did an academic foundation program during my training years. I'm now doing teaching at the um, University of Exeter Medical School. Um, um, but there's also opportunities um, uh, in terms of leadership or management, um, uh, as I mentioned, public health, um, so um, linking in with local councils about the broader health of um, um, the population. Uh, and um, there's also kind of more scientific research that you can link to um, and those are all avenues that you could go into um, at different points in your career if you wish to. I think just to try and find out as much about it as you can to talk to people if you can do any work experience then do and it's not so much as uh, as for helping you get in, it's more to get a taste of what it's like and see if it is something that you're really enthusiastic about. Um, medicine is all about talking to people, communicating with people, um, uh, helping them through difficult times, helping them enjoy the, the, the make the most of the good times. Um, and if that's something that you really enjoy, you know, talking to people, communicating with people, then medicine is going to be the the, the thing for you and that's going to shine through in any um, applications that you might make.